Welcome back to Frontliner Broadcast Analysis. So Kenyans, this is how broad-based government is going to be the grand fall of William Samoy Ruto in his Kenya Kwanza UDA party. And before we continue, kindly take a second of your time and support this podcast by subscribing, turning on the notification bell after subscription, then don't forget to like our videos. Thank you so much for great support. So Kenyans, I'm receiving a message here that ODM has proposed Junet Muhammad as Kindiki successor at Interior Ministry in the Republic of Kenya. And also, there is, there, there is a rumor that if Moses Masika Wetangula will be impeached, the person to replace his docket will be uh, Otiende Amolo that came from Siaya country in Rarieda constituency. And remember that William Samoy Ruto appointed some of the four CS from the opposition leader to run his government during the anti-government protest here in Kenya. With one lady that was given a very, very big office in William Samuelto's government. So remember that they are now five. Plus this, Juanet Mohamed, that is going to be the successor of Professor Kituri Kindiki. Then the sixth one is Otiende Amolo, who is going to replace uh, Moses Rectangular if he will be impeached because there are rumors on the platform that, and on the ground also that Utiende Amolo might replace uh, Moses Masika Wetangula as the national speaker. This issue came across after Raila Amolo Dinga sent a bold message to William Samoy Ruto saying that you must give me something, you must pay me back. Because many people did not realize that even Raila Amolo Dinga was putting some efforts to make sure that Riyadi Geshagwa is being impeached officially at the Senate and also at the National Assembly. And this one is now clear that Raila Amolo Odinga is entering William Samoruto's government slowly by slowly. Because right now, the Treasury Minister of Treasury come from the opposition leader. Minister of Energy come from the opposition leader. That is uh, Alias Anjoho. And uh, not Alias, Alias Anjoho is for mining. And uh, for energy is Honorable Opio Wandai, the former MP from Ugunja constituency. And for the Treasury is John Badi from Homa Bay. And for cooperative is Wycliffe Oparanya from Kakamega County, the former governor. And right now, the national speaker is going to be taken away with Otiende Amolo, the MP from Rarieda constituency in Siaya County. And this one for CS of Interior will be Junet Muhammad who was the national, the majority, minority leader of the National Assembly. So are you now seeing how Raila Mulodinga is making his team, building a strong team for 2027? Because let me ask you a simple question, Kenyans. What about if Raila Mulodinga will lose the AU chairmanship and say that I'm, go I'm going to vie for the presidency in 2027? William Samoruto will see dust and people of Kenya will not seek sympathy to William Samoruto according to what happened in this period of, in fact, these two years, not even two years, these three months back, June, July, and August. What happened there really show the kind of a leader William Samoruto is. So let Ruto pray that we, uh, Raila Mulodinga won the AU chairmanship because, on the other hand, we don't know how the Gen Zs are planning with the year revolution with Morara Kibaso. We don't know if they might endorse Morara Kibaso for the year presidency in 2027 or rally back behind uh, Kalonzo Musioka or Jimmy Wanjigi or uh, Dr. Fred Matiangi. 
or Professor George Wajakoya because many people are aiming to vie for that position. Because if uh, the deputy president of William Samoto, Regan Gashagwa, if his justice for continue being on the public offices in the Republic of Kenya is given back to him, Regan Gashagwa might vie also for the presidency in 2027. Because that is what Riyadh Yashagwa is fighting for in the court. So that his political career could not end up as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, who was impeached after working for 766 days in the Republic of Kenya. So are you now, are you now seeing how broad-based government is, uh, is going to affect William, Sam William Samoy Ruto? Because... Rigadi Ashagwa didn't want, did not want to unite with Raila Amolo Odinga. You are now seeing what is happening in Kenya Kwanzaa government. And this is not the first time that Raila Amolo Odinga is destroying any government. Raila Amolo Odinga destroyed the government of Ouru Migai Kenyatta. That made William Samoa Ruto the de former deputy president. To do away with William, with the Uru Migai Kenyatta, his boss. And this is the same, same issue that is happening to Rigadi Gachagua. And Gachagua knew it long time ago that if this old man from Bondo will unite with, with William Samuel Ruto, things are not going to be okay in their government. And we are now seeing what is happening. After William Samoa to seek some, some support from the Azimio La Umoja that made Raila Molodinga to give him some of the leaders from the opposition so that Ruto can give them some of the dockets in the year government, this is the result. We are, not, we are not seeing any change that are happening in the broad-based government because many people in the Republic of Kenya knew very well that this broad-based government is going to solve the key issues and the key reason why the Gen Z were on the street during June and July. But there is no any key issues that have been noted or have been talked about with this, in this broad-based government. What we are just seeing is impeachment of Rigadi Gashagwa. We are not even seeing any cabinet secretary talking about the Adani deal Right now, the people of, uh, sorry, right now the Adani people signed the bill long time ago, the deal with William Samuel Ruto's government long time ago when Kenyans were focusing on impeachment against Rigadi Gashagwa. These people play a very, very clear game. And the person that is going to gain from it is Raila Amolo Odinga. Because things are getting bad towards William Samuel Ruto's government and Raila Amolo Odinga is finding a route to get in William Samuto's government by adding some of his opposition leader to squander some of the dockets. In fact, in, in fact, big dockets in, an oppo, sorry, big dockets in William Samuto's government. Because if uh, Otinia Molo will be the Speaker of the National Assembly, CS of Interior will be Junet Muhammad, Treasury John Badi, which other docket are we remaining with? Because we know very well that right now, uh, Rigadi Gashagwa is not going to work with William Samoto anymore, according to what is going on in the Republic of Kenya. After Rigadi Gashagwa announced on the day broadly that William Samoto was planning to kill him in the Nyanza region, when Ruto went to launch some of his new cabinet secretaries after swearing in them, in the state house because we know very well that professor kituri kindiki is not a wave to william samoy ruto or to raila molo odinga so let us watch it keenly because even in the court regarding Ashagwa is just wasting a time there so that uh, professor kituri kindiki cannot be sworn in there is nothing there is no big deal that is happening at the milimani law court and this is the reason why William Samuel Ruto wanted this case to end at the Supreme Court directly. Because it, it will take too much time for this matter 
of Rigathi Gachagua impeachment motion to reach at the Supreme Court or at the High Court in the Republic of Kenya. That is what I heard for you, ladies and gentlemen, and may God bless you. Let us meet the next video that is going to be uploaded shortly within no time. Remember to subscribe, comment, and like for more updates. May God bless you, my beloved viewers. You can drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Tell me wherever you are watching this podcast, be it Kenya or outside the country, I might know. Thank you so much, and may God bless you. <laughs>